Hey guys, quick video here. Today we're going to take a look at a figure from the, uh, the Marvel Universe line, more specific, the uh, Captain America toy line. He's my favorite figure from the wave, or the line, the toy line. I'm talking about none other than Bucky Barnes, aka the Winter Soldier. Really cool figure. Nothing to do with uh, his movie counterpart. Absolutely nothing in common. They've got nothing in common. Other than the name... Well, actually they don't because this is the Winter Soldier. Which is, uh, anyway, I don't have the packaging. Well, I do have it, but I don't know where it is. All I managed to find before the review is this little piece of paper which shows us the Winter Soldier uh, figure. And small description in English, French, Portuguese, and Spanish, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, really cool figure. I believe it's a repaint of the Marvel Universe uh, Winter Soldier with a uh, different head sculpt. I think the head sculpt is new. Uh, the Marvel Universe had uh, a little bit shorter hair. This has a really a lot and even longer hair and doesn't have the uh, wire in the left arm, which is really cool because I've never liked the uh, wire. I haven't seen a point in, in putting it in, but well. Um, he has a, an awesome background story, uh, which I'll tell you a little bit about him. Uh, like I said, he's James Buchanan Barnes. That's his, uh, his name, his real name. He enlisted in the army to, to help uh, Captain America in the, in the war. Uh, they call him Bucky. Uh, I believe once he tried to uh, stop Hydra from launching a missile, uh, he jumped on the rocket and uh, I think he managed to stop the missile from uh, from blowing up, or at least uh, not it didn't blow up where it was supposed to. And like Captain America, he got frozen in the uh, in the ice, so to speak. And he lost his left arm. That's where he goes. He has the. Uh, that's why he has the. Uh, this is a prosthetic, uh, cybernetic arm. Mm. Some men, uh, evil men, found him. Probably Hydras or some uh, criminal cartel dudes. Uh, they brainwashed him and they trained him to be a deadly assassin called the Winter Soldier. This is where the Winter Soldier comes from. Uh, he kind of uh, hated Captain America due to the brainwashing thing, but uh, then he turned good, and uh, Steve Rogers or Captain America wasn't aware of his uh, of him being alive. And uh, like in many movies, series, or comic books, or even novels, they uh, this is this is like a, a plot thing or deal they love to use to bring characters that are supposed to be dead, which are not dead, so they bring them back to the de from the dead. Uh, which is was also amazing. Uh, he's fought both uh, alongside and against Wolverine many, many times. Uh, and one uh, point of the Wolverine storyline, he travels back to Japan to uncover a bit more of his past because he has some clues about what his past was like, sort of, and they fight in a in a printing press, uh, and even Bucky covered himself in ink uh, to block Wolverine's uh, animal keen senses, which speaks highly of him. Uh, this tells us that he's a a brilliant strategist and a, and a great soldier. But well, uh, enough with the chit chat. If you want to know more about the the Winter Soldier or Bucky Barnes, I suggest you search it on Wikipedia or the Marvel, Marvel Wiki if you want to, or the Marvel Database, which is uh, awesome. Now on to the figure. He has a really, really nice sculpt, uh, a bit different from the his universe uh, counterpart, but uh, really nice as well. He's got the straps in here but for the, the for the weapons and all. He has a, a Mauser stored in here, which can cannot be removable. Uh, unfortunately, he has a button across shirt, some uh, some more pouches in here, the belt buckle, uh, another pouch here, the uh, uh, 
a holster which stores the uh, mouser which is removable. This one is removable actually. And this is how the gun looks like. Which I believe the Mauser was actually invented in, in the time of the World War II, if I'm not mistaken. Which is great. Uh, he has a his hand here with a trigger finger pose. But actually, both of his hands are. Uh, and the gun fits nicely in, his, in place, like so. But I like to keep him uh, in that pose I had him in. Which was the, uh, the Mauser stored in here. Oh my god, get in there. And him holding it like he like if he was gonna uh, take it out to fire. Uh he has a red star on his left shoulder which uh indicates probably the uh, the Soviets resurrected him. Or brainwashed him or whatever. Uh he's got his nice mask or face thing whatever, I don't know how to call it. Uh, really, really nice face sculpt. I like it. And he has a sniper rifle in his right hand, which uh, is really well detailed. He's got the the side in here and the the stock and everything. It's really, really great. And w one other thing he has that he has this uh, nice jetpack, which is kind of a portfolio-ish jetpack thingy. The red star in here. He can uh, hold it in his hand as well. So the jetpack opens up and can be placed with his peg, which is placed in the little peg hole in the back of the figure. Articulation-wise, he's very well articulated, in my opinion. He has got he has a uh, sorry he has a swivel head. Uh, which is restricted, and the movement is restricted, restricted sorry, due to the uh, long hair, which, this is a common problem with uh, long-haired figures. You know, so we'll head ball in sho uh, shoulders and elbows, so wrists, uh, not sure about the torso, let me check. Yeah, ball jointed torso, no civil waist, uh, ball jointed hips, Swivel thighs, bunched knees, and bunched ankles. I'm going to show you the uh, the straps and the boots, which look uh, really am amazing. Great figure. Uh, another no-brainer if you want to uh, pick him up. I think you can find it in stores. Uh, you could still find it in stores. I'm not sure. I hope you you do. Um, I have I've only bought two figures from this. Uh, Toy line from the Captain America. I wish I had the third one, which is the uh, the heroic gauge Captain America or the bu Bucky posing as Captain America. I have the crossbones as well. I'm gonna be uploading a review on it soon. So thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, take care and have a great day. And may the force be with us all.